The goal of machine learning is to build a model that performs well on new data. If you have new data, you can see how well your model performs on it. The problem is that you may not have new data, but you can simulate this experience with Scikit-Learn's train test split. In this video, I'll show you how train test split works in Scikit-Learn. The first thing that you need to know is what is train test split. Here's how the procedure works. The first step is to split your data into two pieces, a training set and a testing set. Typically, about 75% of the data goes to your training set, and about 25% of your data goes to the test set. The second step of the process is to train the model on the training set. The final step is to test the model on the testing set and evaluate the performance. To do this in Scikit-Learn, you first have to import libraries. The next step is to load a data set. The data set used in this notebook is the Boston House Price data set. The goal of this data set is to predict house prices based on features like number of rooms. The next step is to create a features matrix as well as a target vector. From here, you can create a train test split. The colors in the image indicate which variable, x train, x test, y train, and y test, the data from the data frame df went to for a particular train test split. Notice that roughly 75% of the data went to the training set and roughly 25% went to the test set. From here, you can utilize a machine learning model. In this case, it's linear regression. The final part is to measure model performance. By measuring model performance on the test set, you can estimate how well your model is likely to perform on new data. To do this, you can use a score method. Just make sure that your inputs are your test set. So that's it. Train test split helps you simulate how well a model would perform on new data.